You have to say, they just don't go out and vote. They don't go out, whereas, okay, the way I would try to reinforce, the liberal left, the extreme left, will vote against the other candidate, not for their candidate. When they come out, I mean, I know because I, I, I come from my family, my location. A lot of my family, you know, like I said, uh, one of my one of my relatives was Rutherford B. Hayes, President of the United States, and his his grandchildren were like this. Um, you know, goddamn Democrats, all Republican. The wife, goddamn Republican. And they said, but you'd ask, I'd ask one of my one of my great grandparents who was still alive at the time. Well, he said, um, why, you know. They ask you, you know, do you know who the Republican president is? I don't give a damn. I just don't want those Democrats in office. Mm -hmm. And then you go to the, you go to my great grandmother. I don't give a damn. I don't want that Republican in office. Mm -hmm. They were hardline. They, hardline Democrat and Republican. Hardline Democrat and Republican. But over the years, the hardline Republican has vanished. There are no more hardline Republicans. You will not find a Republican that will go out there and just do this. Because they have a tendency not to, uh, 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 okay, you, what you got is you got the Republicans divided up among the social issue people and the people, that, the money people. And they just don't get along with one another, which is why the Tea Party is a better group. There's more, there's more Democrats in the Tea Party than there are Republicans. Really? But, yeah. Its majority is made up of Democrats. Uh, but the, the Republicans have became the party of the social issue. And, um, you know, we've got to have Ten Commandments. Nobody cares about that. And have the, the, the Jews can't even tell you what the Ten Commandments are for Christ's sake. You know, thou shall not, uh, I don't know, we only teach that in our school, you know, they, you know and um, because they all do, the thou shall not, if they said, thou shall not spend money on candy when cereal will work just as well. That is a commandment, thou shall not spend money on a Lexus when a Toyota will do just as well. Thou shall not buy you know, imported beer when Budweiser, well, those are commandments that every Jew in the country could, they could remember those commandments, but they don't remember their commandments, but, uh, uh, but it's just the way it is. Uh, when you're the party of social issues, and, 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 and uh, you're, you're, you're a party of two things, social issues and fiscal responsibility, and neither side can get together in a public party. It is so badly splintered. I know, and this is the time when, you know, this should be a slam dunk for them. It's like, come on, Republicans, get it together. I mean, right? I, I'll be perfectly honest, Mr. Obama. I could run against you and beat you, and I don't have any money, and I'm old, and I could run on it, and did you scare me? God, no. I mean, I, 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 my, my father knew Audie Murphy, and I knew Audie Murphy. Audie Murphy, one of the lines, I mean, I really like lines from movies. One of the lines Charles Drake said in from the, the hell, you know, the hell and back was, you know, when he led a charge up a hill with Audie Murphy, he said, come on, Murph, they can kill us, but they can't eat us. You know, which is it. What's the President of the United States going to do to me? Mm -hmm. Kill me? God, I'm old. I'm <laughs> really old. I mean, what's going to happen? You know, I, you know, as they say, I'm on the express train to where he's 80 years of age. Is it going to, you know, so, you know, if you say, I hear members of the press, you can't say things like that against the President for years. Which is sort of an insult right off the bat, but he does have big ears of life. But um, I mean, yesterday, for instance, Hank William Jr. got in trouble because he was drunk and said the president's like a Nazi. So uh, I hate to tell people like this, but we do have a constitution that guarantees you the freedom of freedom to be an ass in public. So they they basically, if he isn't contrite and apologize to him, John, I, I know I know Williams. He's never been contrite in his life. He'll probably get worse before he gets better. And remember, he is a, he is a country boy, and those country boys do not like this president. I mean, the president didn't even bother to go to the floods in the in that part of the world. Oh, he didn't. Did remember, he? no. Because those people don't support me. They're never, hell will freeze over before they're going to support me because they're all racist. No, they're not. Some of those people that he's talking about are black musicians. I mean, but um, uh, still, uh, it, it is the way it is. Uh, everybody, I think Christie is worried. Christie was worried about they were going to do two things. One, they were going to destroy his family. And two, they were going to do nothing but make it about how fat he is.
Well, and he, he didn't want either one to happen, so he, you know, he could have solved it. I mean, how did I know Mike Huckabee was not going to um, yeah. run? Run because he kept he been putting weight on. Uh, you're going to be, you know, instead of being the trim guy that ran the last time, he's about 40, 50 pounds heavier, so you know he wasn't going to run. Mm -hmm. But nobody wants to what run. What about Hillary? Hillary, Hillary is the big because her husband is out campaigning, not for Obama. He's doing all the stops that Obama is doing except before Obama. <clears throat> that means Hillary's running, folks. She, and uh, she, I would call her. She's the black okay, horse. But here, you wouldn't. Here is the problem with the Democrats. There's no primaries because he's no one's running against him, so there's no primaries. So oh, and, and, uh, wait a minute. Basically, they'll have they'll have their you know the Democratic vote, but since there are really no why winning, is there any primaries? Because there's no candidate running in the election except officially, for him, officially, except him, and therefore. You could have and the Democrats are not like the uh, the uh, like like the Republicans. Basically, the Republican Democrats have four fights. If they decide on the floor to nominate Hillary for presidency, they'll nominate Hillary for presidency without her having to run. Oh, interesting. That's the only monkey wrench in Obama's plan. But wait a minute, do they still have a primary? If there's no candidate, they have a primary, like... but you can also write in anybody's names in their primaries. Hillary does not have to spend a penny to run again. They said the liberal left does not want Obama as president. That is pure. So this simple. is the, the the wild card. She's the wild card that they they intend Dennis Kucinich tends to run somebody against him. I know. Um, I mean, you'd think that Biden, who is basically borderline senile, would be saying the things he's saying. Would you say believe that Warren Buffett would be saying that I never said any of such thing to the President of the United States? And that is, uh, you think that they would be doing that if they had a, any fear of reprisal against them? Obama's already saying he's looking for a new vice president. I mean, they, he hasn't said it, but everybody knows he's looking for a new vice president. Yeah, but here's part of it: if he doesn't run and Hillary runs, she get, she captures what he would have had anyway. Oh yeah, and more. But they said that here's the trick: is if. It works the same way. If if Obama is out and Hillary is in, guess who becomes president? Hillary. Hillary. You only change the name of the person. You change the name on the uh, tag on the desk. You know, it, 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 you, 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 you know the Democrats would still be in control of the Senate, and the Senate where all the problems is. The Senate will not allow. The Senate hasn't even. The Constitution of the United States demands they do. They haven't done a budget in going on three years. I know. Aren't they supposed to do a budget every year? Every year. They have not done a budget since Obama became president because those Republicans have stopped it. Well, no, they had control of the Senate for two of those years. Total control of the Senate would have vetoed. The Republicans couldn't do anything procedurally. And they couldn't stop it in the House. The Democrats could have done anything they wanted to budget-wise and didn't because they had to get reelected. <laughs> and right now, with um, two thirds of the seats that are going to be up are Rep Democrats, it looks like the Democrats may lose the Senate. And if the Democrats lose the Senate, you're going to see a Democratic president appear. It's another signature. Everything points to the fact that you could run, uh, you could go, you know, uh, oh, here he is. Here's our, our little dog. You could run this, this lead figure that we, I think we know it was made in the United States. And it's definitely over 30 some years old. And this figure could win the Democratic president, win the presidency. Because uh, the, the American public like divided government. Because divided government, when nothing gets done, it means you're not screwing things up. See, that was the problem with three houses on any one party. Yeah. Because they didn't learn their lessons from the Republicans. The Republicans were pikers compared to the Democrats. I told you what was going to happen when you gave them. You brought Obama in. If they were going to do what Democrats do, which is basically increase spending like unbelievable amounts, they're going to be a dictatorial type thing with the government. Because you know, Obama has basically not not changed anything. He's only got one house, but that's all he needs to make certain Republicans accomplish nothing, nothing. And so uh, he, it, whoever runs can't lose. So. It is a gimme. Whoever becomes a Democratic nominee wins the election. The only difference is if Hillary becomes, the, the left likes her, 
and they'll simply vote for her. It won't be a vote against the other candidate. There'll candidate. be a vote for her. And you're going to instead, and they said, and instead of, we'll give you a synopsis, instead of Hillary picking up 10% of the black vote, Hillary will pick up 90% of the black vote, which gives her uh, another 15% of the vote. So she's now at 42% uh, of the vote. Yeah. And Hillary will pick up uh, a good More of the, the Latino vote. You know, so she then, Hillary will probably push it around 50% of the vote. Yep. So if Hillary Wait, runs... And which, here's part of it is, if you don't have a strong Republican candidate and they're splitting the vote on the other ones, is Hillary could actually do a sweep. Yeah, she could do a 50-state sweep of this nation because they're... Um, because she'll win more than she'll win more than she'll win in every state, forty plus percent of the vote in every state that she runs in. That's the way it's going to work. Whereas Obama is figuring on one third of the vote in every state as winners. The guy, okay, how do you assume that they think they're going to take red states from Republicans? They're counting on the splitting of the vote so that they can take the red states from the Republicans. And uh, you know because they don't want him in those states. But the problem is, if you split the revote, if you split the Republican vote up among three different candidates, there's not enough vote to keep Obama from winning in the state. Because the, yep. because you remember that twenty, at least twenty to thirty percent of the people do not come out. And I'm not talking about the people, you know, that uh, that. That basically, uh, you, you figure, well, there's X amount of people that are qualified to vote. I'm counting on the people that actually statistically come out to vote, which is about 50 to 53 percent of the people. If you uh, if you remove 20 percent of that, there's just not enough votes out there for a Republican to win a candidate, win the presidency. And mm -hmm. I mean, somebody should be bringing that up. You know, well, actually, well, we are. We are. <laughs> but we have heard the people discussing the possibilities of why he is so arrogant. Why he can say there, you blah, you know, use the F word a lot, but you blah, 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 blah. Get off your blah, blah. Get off your blah. Get out the word. Get to do this. And, and what's a good reason to raise a billion dollars for your election campaign when you don't need it? Yeah, because he's preparing for his strategic retreat if something goes wrong. Because, because if they don't spend it, they do get to keep the money. Yeah, they get to they pocket it because it's their money. This is what John Edwards is going to eventually get off of when he gets to the court. That money was for my campaign. It was to be used in any manner, shape, or form I wish to use it for. If I wish to give myself, you know, a one million dollar plate thing. I can give myself a million dollar play thing. That's how it works for it was, it was given to him. They it's don't. his money to spend on his campaign as he sees fit. If the President of the United States spends a million, hundred million dollars out of a trillion billion dollars of his campaign and then says, I think I'm giving, you know, for my campaign purposes, I want a house in the Urals of Russia. Well. With, the, with the Russian military force protecting me for the rest of my life. And it's a campaign expense. It's legitimate. It's a can You can basically ring anything off to the campaign. You so choose to bring it off to the campaign. You know, well, uh, let's see. My daughter needs a brand new. Oh no! Why no? One Ferrari. Let's get her a dozen Ferraris, and she's 13 years old because it, I need it. Is it? We need. We're going to put a bomb. We need the on image. It. We need the image of my daughter doing well. And if my daughter is posing in her Versace gown and her Gucci shoes and her and what you know whatever hairdo she's got, it looks like we're, the country is doing well, and it's a good campaign image for our country. And we've got to have mm -hmm. one for all the colors that make her look best. Mm -hmm. It's legal. So he's protecting his flank because he, I think he walked off with three hundred million dollars the last election. Mm -hmm. So, it's not bad. You know, he became, he's become one of the richest presidents that ever existed. So, but like I said, uh, it, 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 unless a miracle happens, you have Obama or Hillary as president for another four years. Go year. Hillary. Yeah. No, but Hillary is not. Uh, they figure. But yeah. You know, Hillary would be a one-term president no matter. What.